Hello! Welcome to a brand new Let's Play and a brand new channel. My name is Konami Code and I'm gonna be doing some recording YouTube videos for you, for your enjoyment. So, I just done a video about 20 minutes ago, but then my power cut out and it lost everything, so I'm pretty pissed off. <clears throat> so, I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of Marvel Heroes, which is a free-to-play MMORPG developed by Bazilli Baji Bajillion Entertainment? Entertainment? Yeah, Entertainment. Sure, why not? And this has a very Diablo 2 esque about it. That's because the, uh, the CEO of Bajillion actually worked on Diablo 2, so there you go. <laughs> um, when you start this game, you'll get, well, because it's free to play, it goes live on the 4th of June, I think, but yeah. Because it's all free to play, it's all done by microtransactions to earn money, and it currently it is in pre-release for people who bought Founders Packs, which give you packs of heroes and costumes and stuff like that. Uh, and I myself purchased the Ultimate Founders Pack, which gives me all the characters on release, all the costumes on release, uh, and a load of other goodies. But <clears throat> today I'm going to be doing, well, the Let's Play I'm going to be doing at the minute, well, I'm just going to play as anyone I feel like, and I'm probably going to run through with Deadpool for a lot, because Deadpool's voice acting is so good. Nolan North, who did the act voice acting for Deadpool, is such a good one. Such a good voice actor, pardon me. And, uh, yeah, so, we're going to... Because of... Because I botched my first recording, I'm already level 2, but whatever. Yes, it did reset everything properly. Good. So I'm gonna go over here, talk to Jacasta. So I, I apologize if I miss anything out, but that's probably because I've already spoke about it 20 Kill minutes ago. All humans. Oh, pardon me. Just a glitch. How can I help you? I'll read all these, I guess. Our friends at Shield have a major problem, and they need your help. Forces of Hydra are attacking the Raft, a maximum security prison for supervillains. Several inmates have already escaped custody, including Rhino and Electro. Vision will fly you to the raft in one of our Quinjets. Once you're there, talk to the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents to learn more details about the situation. Aye, 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 Captain. <laughs> when you're ready to leave, speak military to them. Right, so there are only these awesome cutscenes, which are like animated uh, comic book strip style, which are really cool. So I'm going to shut the hell up. Because one's about to happen. Right fortunate now. that I have unlimited patience. Blah, 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 unlimited patience. Go. Heads up, people. This is Nick Fury, director of Shield. I've called you here because we have a bit of a situation. As we speak, the supervillain prison known as the Raft is under attack by agents of Hydra. Several prisoners have already escaped their cells. Level seven threats. Like Green Goblin, Sabretooth, Living Laser, Dr. Octopus. Some have even escaped the island. S.H.I.E.L.D. has agents on site, but we need your help. Get to the raft and do what you can. Good luck. Dun dun dun. Anyway. <clears throat> Director Fury is on his way in his absence, I'll stay in touch while you work, don't worry, you'll hardly notice me. Except for this massive text box at the bottom, which is actually really annoying because I don't, can't move it. Oh, it disappeared at the side of the clock. Never mind. <clears throat> so, we're in an instant st oh, get off the waypoint. But we're in an instant starting area, so you won't see any of the players. But this is an MMO. <coughs> oh dear. Bless me, I'll just have to edit the sneeze out. But this is a <clears throat> MMORPG Diablo clone, you could say. So I'm just gonna. Fear. All this just instance. So it doesn't really matter. 
So, standard controls for Diablo E games. Diablo, Diablo like games. Left click is one ability, right click is another ability. Both of these are basic abilities, i.e., basic attacks or auto attacks. They don't cost spirit, which is your mana bar, basically, in inverted commas. And then each character, each hero can can have, not all of them, I don't think, have a secondary resource, which is Deadpool's is pain. Every time you're hit, you gain pain. You can spend pain on other abilities that augment them in some sort of way. So I'm just going to go over here and shoot some balls. They really have improved his... As they've improved his range damage a lot. I should be able to get through this pretty quickly because I, I did end up getting a decent drop after my first recording that failed miserably. Oh, the environments are really cool. A lot of the stuff is destructible, so you can you can uh, experiment with that. Well, experiment, I say. Just blow stuff up and feel strong. I can pick this barrel up and chuck it at these morons and then shoot them. Apparently that thing. More explosions. <clears throat> now, let's come through here. Really easy to Does your policy cover pillaging? Does your policy cover pillaging? Let me kill this guy. Oh, he's got a chair! It didn't do much damage. Ooh, <clears throat> as you can see, inventory is shared between all your heroes, so I was playing as Iron Man last night, so I ended up getting a crap ton of Iron Man stuff that's now clogging up my inventory. I really, really, really want to chuck some of that away. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to pick the stuff up. Right, loot is instanced every time you get a drop yourself it is for you. No one else can pick it up. So there's none of that whole ooh ninjaed my stuff sort of garbage. Well, these are gar these guns are garbage anyway. So I'm just gonna chuck them on the floor. Once you chuck something on the floor, anybody can pick it up because technically you're just throwing it away. <clears throat> Blow stuff up. But yeah, hopefully you can hear the... Take that, the uh... lad lover. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to talk about heroes and stuff. You, you can play this entire game free to play. Like, every character... Well, there's a microtransaction store and you get your currency that you have to buy. I obviously own all the stuff because I have the, 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 the Ultimate Founders Pack. All of these characters, you can characters, heroes, you can buy with microtransactions, or you can get them as drops in games, like in in games, in the game. They're super rare. I've only ever had one drop, and that was in closed beta. And all you can also buy, they're pretty. They're, I say they're pretty much just for show. They're not really because you can do this crafting stuff that I'll probably go over in a different video. All these characters you can buy skins, for lack of a better word, costumes for them to make them look better. So you get a little bit of customization. When you equip a piece of gear onto your character, you don't they don't see the gear on them, so So basically they've done this costumes idea. Cause it wouldn't make any sense for you Iron Man to have not matching helmets and stuff like that. It'd just be weird. But yeah, I'm using Deadpool's Enhanced Deadpool Pirate costume because it has extra voice work and then extra animations and stuff like that. Uh, there are four skins only available to Ultimate Founders Pack char characters, Ultimate Founders Pack uh, owners, and that is uh, Maestro Hulk, Weapon X Wolverine, Symbiote Spider-Man, which also is a head of hands costume with extra visuals and um, voice work. And then there's Iron Man 3 Iron Man. Now, Iron Man 3 Iron Man, they say at Bajillion Entertainment that Marvel sent them the actual model from Iron Man 3, the film, and they converted it into a... Well, apparently that guy's just going to fall over and die into a 
uh, costume. It's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm just going to come through here and shoot these boys. Early game is probably going to be a little bit boring. You're probably, you're probably thinking, Konami, why are you not playing as Iron Man? Oh my god, he sounds so awesome. He has like 50 million skins uh, compared to everybody else. That's because his early game is super boring. He's super, super weak. Early. I sunk your battleship. But it's super, super boring early game. Because you just don't feel like you're doing any damage whatsoever as him. So, basically, I got to like 14. Uh, once I got to level 14, 15 last night, I was playing last night on the stream. I picked up this piece of gear that gave me an ability. Because, oh yeah, you get your. I picked up an ability, gave me um, uh, three ranks to Unibeam, which is the massive chest beam that he has in the films. And you just go around and you tear people and do asshole with that, and it literally just like kills like 20 people in one shot. So I suddenly got uh, like a power spike at about that level. <clears throat> but anyway, about abilities, you have your standard press P, you have your standard trees of stuff as you do in any MMO. These, there's not a lot of stuff in here at the minute. The developers have said that they're going to be adding extra stuff to these trees probably at some point. But then yeah, you put your points in here. The green number is uh, I have a piece of gear that's augmenting that ability, so increase, making it better. Now, I have a piece of gear that's giving me swift kick at rank 4. So I can use Swift Kick without putting a single point into it, which is super useful if you don't want to spend your points. It's the only downside. Uh, the only downside at the minute, really, that I've seen is with this system is that these abilities, the later abilities are like blatantly better than the early abilities. Like if you put points in the early abilities and then you get one of the better abilities later on. There's like no point in these earlier abilities, you just won't even use them. Because they're just completely overshadowed by these later abilities, but maybe that's something that they'll look into. But yeah, so far I've encountered each each hero is pretty unique. Like Oh god. Well, he just died. But each character is pretty unique, like they try and hold true to each hero. Like, Deadpool, for instance, is out of his fucking mind. But anyway, his... <laughs> his ability... Like, everybody's abilities are pretty, like, close to what they should be doing. <clears throat> I'm gonna, this is a, like, a secondary objective. I don't have to do this. But as soon as it's in my way, I'm pretty much forced to do it. But yeah, they were like... I'm just gonna like, stab here. There'd be a massive scrub and just shoot everyone. We have a breach. Well, as you see, I got XP. Oh, you've probably seen the orbs drop as well as loot drop. There, there are three types of orbs that an enemy can drop. A red orb will heal you. A blue orb will give you spirit, which I usually will refer to as energy because I've been playing or energy or power because I played Iron Man too much. <clears throat> and yellow orbs grant you bonus XP, and I'm getting lots of frames. Which is nice. I apologize if I do get lots of frames, but I tend to get them. I tend to get them a lot in this game. I'm not sure why. Okay, go away, green stuff. Now I'm gonna click on this, and I'm gonna have to fight a, a mini boss who is living laser. I'll go and break it so Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. I'm just gonna tank this stuff because, as you know, Deadpool has Wolverine's heat. Well, not as powerful as Wolverine's heat. In fact, it's still pretty powerful. I'm just gonna kick him to death. Ooh, kick him. Kick him in the balls. Kick him in the balls. There we go. Pick up this bonus XP. If you leave the orbs after time, if you leave the orbs over time, they give you less, basically. Now, I'm not gonna pick up this living laser medal, because I already like, have one in my inventory. I'm gonna pick up Katana, so because the uh, like, garbage took him away. But when you defeat a mini boss, or. A mini boss, a boss, or a event boss who will just randomly spawn in the overworld when you're in the MMO sections of the game. 
they'll drop a medal which basically has this goes here you can say it's like getting a trinket in other games sort of not really these are more like trinkets these are artifact slots some of them are decorative only like they'll give you coolest part because look at me i shine and stuff like that uh but these just have little stats on them like plus five to spirit four percent chance to fire a laser burst when you get when you hit with basic oh, so i'll I pick this one blender. <laughs> these have randomized stats this one's garbage Oh, it destroyed it. And, um... FPS is fucking up a lot. But yeah, I don't... They need to do some work on the... Ugh! I totally botched that. They need to do some work with the engine still. This does run on the Unreal Engine, though, so I'm expecting... I'm expecting good things once they've actually got it all optimized. Another secondary objective. Pick up all this... Juicy, juicy bonus XP for five points each. As this is my XP bar, but because I've already played through this and then my recording dirts, then yeah, no, it's kind of annoying. It's gonna go through here, dodge this green thing that travels. Oh, get away from me! There we go. To be fair, I could have probably tanked that and it wouldn't have done any damage. But just for argument's sake, you can dodge stuff. It's not bound to hit you all the time. I just pressed a button for no apparent reason. Okay, go over here, click on this thingamajig. That should keep the cell the rest of the cells locked up tight. I just wish you could have gotten here sooner. Well, you know. Okay, I think we've got the worst of it. Keep on director left director hill, she is down here somewhere. That's pretty bad, he doesn't know where the direct deputy director is. She's somewhere down here. I'm sure she's not like dead in a ditch or anything. I'm sure she's fine. Don't worry about it. Does your policy cover pillaging? Pillaging all of the things. Yar. Ye be fish food. Yeah. Fish like the voice acting is so I'm not going to lie. This, the voice acting is like so good. Especially to her Deadpool in particular. Is that Blotsam or Jetsam? But yeah, I'll put the regular Deadpool skin on at some point so you can see what's going on. Oh, it's Eddie Brock! He's got the Venom symbiote. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Gonna have to fight him at some point. Actually, not here. I know exactly where you're fighting. He's an inbound class. He's like, he like, runs around, does his, does whatever he pieces because he's Venom. Should shoot these suckers. Pick up the loot. That's it. Speak to Maria the direct. Hill. Shield. It's about time you got here. I just got a report that Venom was sighted leaving the raft through a ventilation shaft, even though he was just over there a minute ago. And like, you totally could have just walked over there and tried to stop him, but then probably got absolutely bad by him because he's got superpowers and stuff, and you don't. I may have read into that a little bit too much. This le that leaves only one inmate loose inside the prison. Norman Osborne, better known as the Green Goblin, we. We have him isolated at the end of this hallway. Yeah, sure you do. Unfortunately, some idiot left the goblin's equipment stored near his cell. So he won't be easy to take down. Oh, clumsy. <laughs> I don't have the manpower to handle this. So it looks like S.H.I.E.L.D. needs to ask you for one more favour. Are you ready to face this maniac? Maniac, please. I'm playing Deadpool. You, haven't, you, don't, you clearly don't know what maniac means. Pick up these medkits. Make. I talked. Did I talk about waypoints? I don't know. But waypoints, they like your warp zones and other RPGs of the same of the same genre. Use them. Teleport around. You can use them to teleport to other chapters that you've done. When you die, you respawn here, or you can wait for someone to revive you. Classic MMO style. At the minute, I don't think there are any negative effects to dying, so. I don't know if they'll actually add anything to that. I don't know. But the adaptive music's really cool. Oh, it's changed as I walked it's into it. To play. I'm gonna be a total scrub and run in here and just kick him in the butt hole. And then just lag terribly. Yeah. 
My slashy attack does bleed damage, so I'm just gonna run in here. Tank all the hell of his damage. Right, he's gonna dent to like a phase two sort of thing, we'll do some bombing runs. I don't have a dash ability, so I'm probably bound to get hit by this every single gun at time. Okay, maybe not that one. <clears throat> So, I'm just going to run in here, my healing factor is just going to tank all the damage, and then I'll, I'll pay damage. Oh no, he's dead. Oh god. Get the XP before it gets smaller. So the orbs get smaller and they give you less bonuses. So, there's another green goblin medal, we'll pick that up. Is it better than the one we have? No it's not, just chuck it away. At the moment I'm just chucking stuff, because... Why not? I have too many med kits, like they're using up too many slots. Let's just chuck four of them. I have 50, for Christ's sake. Med kits are the same for as long as you're playing the game. Like, you'll get the same type of med kit throughout the entire game. It gives you 100 HP and then gives you a 30. 30%. 30 restores 30% health over 5 seconds. So they're useful no matter how much health you have, basically. So we're going to go over here. This is where my power cut out before, so I've literally made up time and I've done it quicker. Yes, this was like 23 minutes last time. So I'm trying to gonna try and cut these videos for about 20 Hello, minutes, so they're easily watchable. Thanks for your help. A lot of villains are still in their cells because of you. The bad news is several inmates escaped from the raft before you even got here, because we're literally terrible at doing our job, and the government doesn't pay us enough. I've ordered M Maria Hell to head up the operation of the Avengers Tower. I want you to help out. You can meet her there when you arrive. You can fly to the Avengers Tower whenever you're ready to go. Okay, let's go! Yeah, there's Vision. No, you are not okay. Interrupting me. <clears throat> I think there's going to be another cutscene here, so... We will travel to the Avengers Tower, watch the cutscene. Okay, I'll be quiet. Oh no, it's loading screen. <laughs> I lied. <clears throat> there might be a cutscene. I'm pretty sure there's a cutscene. These loading screens are a little bit long. There's a little bit of a bug at the minute as well. As you can hear this ticking in the background. This will sometimes go over into the actual game. So it's like literally ticking constantly in the background. And it gets bloody irritating. The raft assault oh. was a spectacular success. If I do say so myself. Thanks to Hydra. There will be bedlam in the streets of New York. And the list? Yes, the entire list. But I can't help but wonder, Dr. Octopus, Modoc, Wizard, what does Dr. Doom gain from their freedom? And with this, we end our transaction. This is it? This technology exploits a flaw in Tony Stark's security system. Well then. Hail Hydra. Be gone. Doctor Doom's voice is super cool. As you can see, we're now in like the MMO section sort of game. There's the Iron Man 3 armor, if you can't tell or if you've not seen the film yet. But I doubt you've not seen it. Whatever. So, yeah, speak to the Hail. Good to see you here. I hope you're ready to work. We have intel that a few escaped supervillains from the raft have been sighted in Hell's Kitchen, a crime-ridden neighborhood in Manhattan. I've sent Agent Coulson to oversee the operations there. When you get, when you get there, check in with him, see how you can help. One of my agents can fly you to Hell's Kitchen when you're, when you're ready to go. Before you head out, you might want to talk to Ben Eric as a local reporter. He has more familiarity. I'll with need three right. ships and fifty stout men. We'll sail around the Horn and return with spices and silk, the likes of which you have never seen. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna call <laughs> the voice. This voice acting is too good. But anyway, I'll probably go over. I don't know what I'm gonna cover in the next episode. So I've gotta go over the crafting. I guess I don't really do the crafting, and I don't think it's probably that entertaining to watch either. So. I'm going to end this episode about now, so I'm impressed. thanks for watching everyone, this has been Konami Code, don't forget to favourite, like, subscribe, I'll put out, I'm going to try and put out two videos every day, except for weekends, because I'm lazy and I want to sleep. 
<laughs> but anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope I will see you guys next time.